friends. Welcome to Storytime. My name is Miss Vicki and I am so happy you're watching now. Are you happy too? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, your face will really show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Yay, very good. I'm real excited to show you what I put inside my treasure chest. Would you like to see? Okay, I'm gonna open it now and I'm going to show you the letter C. Yes, that is what I found, the letter C. And it makes a special sound, ka, ka, like in car and in cookie, big C, little C. C is a letter of the alphabet. Behind me, you see the alphabet. But will you help me find the letter C up there in the alphabet? A, B, C. There it is. So it is in the alphabet. I was right about that. Everything in here today begins with the letter C, a ka, ka sound, like carrot, look at my carrot. Do you ever eat carrots? Would you believe that I eat a carrot every single day? Now I'm not gonna eat this one right now, I'll eat it later, but first tell me what color this carrot is. It's orange, isn't it? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna save it for later and I'm gonna show you something else that begins with the C, the K, K sound. A uh, caterpillar, ooh, look at that. A caterpillar. Look at all the legs on the caterpillar. And look at the caterpillar's great big eyes. Those are his antenna right there. What color is this caterpillar? Green, right. Caterpillars can be all different colors. And think about it. The word color begins with the letter C, color. Fuzzy, wuzzy, creepy, crawly, caterpillar, funny. You will be a look. Butterfly, when the days are sunny. Our caterpillar turned into a beautiful butterfly. How about that? Would you like to hear a story about a caterpillar? Well, first, the story I'm gonna read to you, also has two other insects in it, a bee and a ladybug. See that ladybug? Do you notice all the legs on the ladybug? And right here are the ladybug's red wings and the red wings have black spots on them. Yeah, there's a ladybug in the story that I'm reading to you. One, two, I have two ladybugs. One, two, two little ladybugs crawling around a tree. 
One name Lu, the other name Lee. Fly away, Lu. Fly away, Lee. Come back, Lu. Come back, Lee. Mm -hmm. So you ready for a story? If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story and you're not in a hurry, clap your hands. This story is called Caterpillar's Wish. Have you ever wished for something? Sometimes I wish that I was allowed to eat cookies. Do you think that's what Caterpillar wishes for? Cookies? Caterpillar's Wish, written by Mary Murphy. Caterpillar and Bee and Ladybug live in a pretty garden. When Bee and Ladybug fly away, Caterpillar stays behind. Do you think that makes Caterpillar sad to see her friends fly away and she can't? I wish I could fly too, she says. So that is Caterpillar's wish. She wishes she could fly. But Bee and Ladybug always come back. Do they look happy? Yeah. One day, when Bee and Ladybug come home, Caterpillar is gone. Do you know where she is, Snail? asks the bee. See the snail? Does Snail know where she went? Caterpillar is in this cocoon, says Snail. Cocoon where she's sleeping and dreaming. Bee and Ladybug visit the cocoon every day. They're waiting, aren't they? Until Rat goes the cocoon. Who's that peeping out? It is me, says Caterpillar. Me at last. There's Caterpillar. But now my name is Butterfly. Caterpillar turned into a butterfly, and now she has wings, just like Bee and Ladybug, and she can fly away with them. Her wish came true, huh? Sometimes wishes do. This story is called In the Tall, Tall Grass, and it's by Denise Fleming. in the tall, tall grass. Do you see the little boy lying on his belly in the grass? He's looking at something in the tall, tall grass. What's he looking at? Yep, our caterpillar. He can see it. Crunch, munch. Caterpillar's lunch. 
caterpillars eat a lot. Dart, dip, hummingbird, sip. Can you find a caterpillar in this picture? Look good. Do you see it? Strum, drum, bees hum. Bzzz. I see caterpillar, do you? Skittle, scurry, beetles, hurry. Hip, hop, ears, flop. Those ears belong to bunny rabbits, don't they? Yeah. Now it's nighttime, look. Stars bright, moonlight. Good night, tall, tall grass. That was a good story, huh? I'm gonna show you even more caterpillars. First, I'm going to close my treasure chest, put it down, and ready, one little caterpillar whose name is Fred. He's the only caterpillar I know whose color is red, right? One more caterpillar. Her name is Sue, and she's the color of the sky. What color? Blue. She's blue. One more caterpillar, a sunny fellow. He's the color of the sun. He's yellow, yeah. One more caterpillar whose name is Colleen. She's the color of the tall, tall grass. She's green, right? They come in all different colors. Will you please help me count the caterpillars? Ready? One, two, three, four. Yeah, there are four caterpillars. See? Four caterpillars. Oh well. Story time's about over, except that we have to say goodbye. Can you do what I do? Ready? Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Raise up high. Stretch. Blow a kiss. Mm -hmm and wave goodbye. Thank you for watching.